hello and welcome back to another video today i will be showing you my favorite software for puppy linux that i think you guys should find useful and you guys will just be able to install, install them through the puppy package manager so you can click that and you can see it pulls up right here and now you want to go into the settings for this app. You want to go over here to update database. You want to just click update now. Now this should only take a few seconds. As you can see it is going right along. Now you guys may be thinking about a web browser. Well, what web browser should you use? Well I don't think Pale Moon is really gonna cut it it looks outdated and I honestly hate it especially their start page but as you can see you can serve the web just fine it works and you can of course visit my website There. You visit it. Works. It just really isn't that good. And it'll say this was just sexually successfully completed. And just say okay. You click okay, I meant that should only take a second. And now for you web browser, you can just go under internet. And I honestly recommend Firefox. And you just want to scroll up to the top. Get this one. And that'll work. And then just click do it. Now this is the Firefox that you guys should use. And now you, what you may be thinking now is what do we have for media players well we already have enough i i don't think we need to even touch base on this like i'm just using the built-in screen recorder and it's working just fine 30 all fps works just fine business well we're gonna get some of that and now document I recommend a LibreOffice, but it's a little bulky now, but it still works pretty well, so yeah, let's get it. See how much storage I'm using here. Do you want to continue? Now this is over a 150 megabyte download, do you just want to click yes? stable now I do think that they do give you a few versions but I'm gonna go with the latest we're just waiting for this puppy package manager to finish here now these are in no orders so let's just do it now I can leave the help file but all right, let's just click OK. And now it is just going to go along. And we are just going to get it. Oh, it's just frozen here in the terminal. It looked like it was froze for a second, but it wasn't. No, this is fine. This is fine. And I will pause... I will pause until um, this finishes here and we can take a look at it and now as you can see this thing just popped up and it says that Firefox has just finished installing so you can just click OK and I think all of you guys know 
what Firefox is. Just go over to the internet. You can click this. And sooner than later, you're going to have your beautiful, just beautiful Firefox. And you can use it like normal. Go to Google. I just noticed that leaf going down the page. You should visit it. <laughs> And you can, of course, visit my website on here. Oh, it works pretty well. So, yeah. Um, we're just going to disable that. But, it works. You can use it. You can like. And log in. But anyway, we don't need to do that. And now you can get more stuff like free network. Like, you can get a lot of stuff. Now, personal, we don't really got any calendars pre installed or anything. But. Who is gonna need a calendar? But of course you gotta have one. So So, as you can see, we got a bunch of stuff for that. But, we don't really need a calendar anyway. And for business, um, well, you see, you don't really got much, but you can install a calculator. We will get that later on. Now, for your document, I do like the automatic, the auto installed ABI Word. I love that program. It works pretty well, um, as you can see, very important document. And of course we can just save desktop and you can do ABI Word. You can even do Microsoft Word. You can get dot dot docs dot txt dot html abi word. We're just gonna do this Microsoft Word one, and we're just gonna name it important. Save. And close it. And I don't know if it shows up on the desktop here. No. It isn't showing up, but I'm sure if you navigate over to the file explorer and you said desktop, you got your very important document. It's pretty cool, it works. Now this is actually running off of a flash drive right now. It's on 2.0. And I am pretty impressed. Now, you, I don't know if you can get um, OBS for this. And it doesn't look like it, so I'm just going to assume not. But for your file system... I don't know if you got a file explorer. Or just file. It's frozen. As you can see, our LibreOffice is 
still just a downloading with my slowest internet you can buy but it works so whatever doesn't seem like it's working I'm thinking I'm just kill it it works I guess and now guys make sure to check out my hex chat server and you could just join it join it by opening hex chat waiting for it to load and going to server join a channel and entering hashtag real weather alex one now there needs to be two hashtags here or it will not work and then just click okay and now as you can see i'm already in here There's not many people in this server, but if you want to join, go right ahead, and then you guys can um, be here, and and so as you can see, this works pretty well, and I don't think you need anything here. So yeah, they basically have everything covered. It works very well. Um, don't know what that was for, but I will be back um, when this finishes. And so now it is unpacking and repacking. As you can see, it says, please wait a while. LibreOffice 7.0.3 underscore Linux underscore 86. Yada, yada, yada. But it works. So, here we are. We got clip it. So, that's why I don't think we need anything. Like, what do you need? So, pencil and paper just said cool and high. Now I'm just going to say, you made it on a vid. But anyway, it's pretty cool. It's your chat that you can use. So, what this will do is just convert the files, and then you can have the latest version of LibreOffice. As you can see, it's at 40%. Um... Probably recording <laughs> doesn't help. But at least my uh, my FPS is even suffering from this conversion here. I'm just gonna pause and wait until it finishes. And now this is just gonna say, do you want to load LibreOffice 7.0.364? You just wanna click OK. Just this processing wait a moment. And what he say? Um, but as you can see, do you want to run an application right now? We're just going to run LibreOffice right now. When I originally did this before I reinstalled Puppy Linux on this USB, um, I didn't know this existed. Um, but as you can see, you can create a document writer. See if it works. I'm just gonna say okay. I'll leave the tips on. Very, very important document. And now go over here and save. And just leave it on your desktop. Um, oof, didn't mean it right there. It's right here. Important. Before I make a spelling error, that'll work. And as you can see, 
can do you can save these as if you want I'm gonna do dot docs and we can even encrypt it save with a password and save and I'm just gonna say important Cancel, I guess. Use 15. And just close. And as you can see, yes, um, that'll work. Um, as you can see, this does work very, very, very well. Um, thanks for watching. And this is what I recommended for apps. And for apps for Puppy Linux, and I will see you next time. Good.